I'm Hannah Wallace and welcome to Next Gen Banking London, the AI revolution. Currently joining me now is Karen Jane, Head of Technology for Europe and Americas at Westpac. And we're talking about how AI is disrupting the industry. Hello Karen, thank you very much for joining us. Afternoon, a pleasure to be here. Fantastic. So yes, how is AI disrupting financial services? Um, where do you see the areas that's most impacting the industry? So within the financial services and focusing on banking, there's a there's number of areas where AI can be applied. And I think the most thing, the, one of the big points I want to pass through is, let's not make it blockchain looking for problems scenario that we had about sure. you know 12 to 18 months ago. Let's go for, let's understand how artificial intelligence, which loosely couples machine learning and RPA, mm -hmm. um, can actually help solve the problem. And I think what you got to keep in mind is as well is, from a, you know, what problems are you solving? And I see, I see three streams or three themes of problems um, that, you know, artificial intelligence is either being applied um, or most suitable to. So starting with customer, so customer experience can be improved. And by that, I don't, you know, uh, so you've got your chatbots, um, you've got your self-service, you've got, you know, more, more predictive learning and insights for your customers. Um, as for examples, the second line I see is risk management. So you know we're in the we're in the business of risk management uh, for our customers and ourselves. So uh, applying the smarts to that, applying the automation, applying you know, there's so much data out there. Utilizing that data, that's important, and using that efficiently is is another use um, theme that I see. Thirdly, is in the back office operations area, um, and that applies to all sorts of things. Like there's about a hundred examples out there, and I won't you know bore you with them right now, but there's you know, those are the three key areas that I see that artificial intelligence, machine learning and RPA can actually be applied by financial service institutions. All right, but what about sort of the people skills and the business business models? How are these being impacted, do you think? Um, so, so I find this topic really funny because everyone talks about there's talent shortage. Yes, there's talent shortage. But if you look at talent from a human capital element, Traditionally, talent means let's go hire somebody. And now, like yes, there's you know there's a big hype. You can't hire people, especially you can't hire good machine learning engineers, good data scientists. Sure, but let's just start with people that are within the organisation. Mm -hmm. Let's train them up because you're going to bring someone new, and yes, they're going to be skilled, and you need that person. But at the same time, you also need to train the people that within the organisation because they actually understand your business the best. Makes sense. Right? Um, a concept that's, you know, we should probably bring to market um, in general in the industry is we do internships where, you know, kids come through two years, uh, sorry, we, we train them and, you know, there's a contract, you stay for two, three years. Why can't we do that with experienced adults? We train you in machine learning and then for that you stay with us for a couple of years and there's win for everyone in there. So. So I find that I think we should focus on human capital um, and there's different ways to getting that than just traditionally hiring um, and, and, and you know, progress into the, the realms of not just gig economy but micro gigs mm -hmm. to help solve problems. Sure, that's really interesting. And following on from that quite nicely then, do you foresee wider partnerships with banks and others to compete in this digital age? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, partnerships are super critical, um, almost survival. Like collaboration is, is, is not, an, not an option, right? It, like it has to happen. And we're seeing a lot, like the industry is moving pretty fast in that space, um, collaborating. And, and, and you'll see, so, so partnerships, not just with the fintechs, AI fintechs who are trying to solve a particular problem, but actually developing partnerships who have a bench of machine learning people, data scientists, and actually having a, another company that understands your business can actually be a quite valuable tool to have in your, in your tool belt. Um, the other thing is partnerships with other banks, because some of the use cases or some of the themes that I was talking about, they aren't competitive. Cybersecurity is not competitive. Applying a machine learning and um, artificial intelligence to sharing cyber threat intel, that's not compete, that's valuable for everybody. So I think partnerships are, are very, very critical. I think another point there is I think market is still figuring out the best way to partner yeah, there's no doubt from, that, that. from that element. Well, Karen, thank you very much for sharing your outlook for AI. I'll let you get back to the event. Thank you for coming to speak with us. Thank you, Anna. Pleasure. And thank you for watching.